You are who your father is and not your mother. The man carries the seed. We are determined who he is by our father, not the woman. The scripture said we are the seed of Abraham. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and Alice of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. This is the brother Bashar from the GMS Bahamas camp back at you with this truth. Shalom Akim. Uh, we are who we is according to our father and not our mother. So what if you don't have a mother who is, uh, who, who, who is out of our nation? You are determined who you are by your father. I can read a precept here, which all of we know by heart, who wouldn't know? Then I can get uh, one or two other precepts and I can get another account. All right, this is the book of Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles can all right now i can jump in the account in the book of judges all right, I ain't gonna read the whole thing because it's plenty of that. But I can just hit the I can hit the account in it what I want out of it, the point what I want out of it. But in order for you to get the full understanding of it, you could do some reading on your own and you could take it from the book of Judges 19 on down to where I'm gonna be reading from. I'm gonna start doing some reading from uh uh Judges 21 and I get my point out of it. I really don't read all of this, but I can read it in here to get my point out of it. So you could see how it gets to that. But like I said, you could read it to get the rest of the account of it to see how it got to this. Because the children of Benjamin wrought fully in the nation of Israel and the most high must wipe them out. Alright, this is uh, the book of Judges 21. Now the men of Israel had sworn by Mespa, saying, There shall not any of us give his daughter unto Benjamin to wife. And the people came to the house of Yahweh. And abode there till even before Yahweh, and lift up their voice, and lift up their voices, and wept sore, and said, "O Lord, power of Israel, why is this come to pass in Israel that there should be today one tribe lacking in Israel?" He's speaking about Benjamin now, and it came to pass on the and it came to pass on the morrow that the people rose early and built there an altar. And offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And the children of Israel said, Who is there among all tribes of Israel that come not up with the congregation unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai? For they had made a great oath concerning him that concerning him that come not up to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to Mespa, saying, He shall surely be put to death. And the children of Israel repented them from Benjamin their brother and said there is one tribe cut off from Israel this day how shall we do for wives for them that remain seeing we have sworn by Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai that we will not give them our daughters to wives and they said what one is there of the tribes of Israel that come not up to Mesba to the Lord and behold there there came none to the camp from Jabash to lead to the assembly. For the people were numbered and beheld, there were none of the inhabitants of Jabash to lead there. And the congregation sent thither 12,000 men of the villainous and commanded them, saying, Go and smite the inhabitants of Jabash to lead with the edge of the sword, with the women and the children. And this is the thing that ye should, shall do. You shall utterly destroy every male and every woman that had lion by man. And they found among the inhabitants of Jabash Jalid 400 young virgins that had not known no man 
by lying with any male, and they brought them unto the camp to Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. And the whole congregation sent some to speak to the children of Benjamin that were in the rock of Ramon, and to call peaceably unto them. And Benjamin came again at that time, and they gave them wives, like I told. Benjamin wrought folly in Israel, and they almost wiped them out, but I get to the point. I can take it back from 14, 21 and 14, numbers 21 and 14. And Benjamin came again at that time, and they gave them wives, which they had saved alive from the women of Jabash Chalid, and yet so they suffered slack, and yet so they sufficed them not. And the people repented them for Benjamin, because that the Lord had made a breach in the tribes of Israel. Then the elders of the congregation said, How shall we do for wives for them that remain, saying, The women are destroyed out of Benjamin. For the wickedness Benjamin done the most most had the tribe of Benjamin wiped out. And they said, There must be an inheritance for them that be escaped of Benjamin, that a tribe be not diminished out of Israel in order to, in order to fulfill prophecy. I probably might have been in the day if they had not done this. So this goes to Syria. And the voices are 21, Judges Jud 21, 11, and 12. It's heathen women. Because, like I say, Benjamin was almost wiped out. Benjamin was almost wiped out. For the sins they committed in Israel. Like I say, you could read from uh, the book of Judges 19 down to... Uh, Straight down to where he is to 21 and you'll get a proper understanding, but I ain't going into all of that. You could read it on your own to see how it got to that. But the point is what I wanted to, to show you that is, 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 is we had heathen women. You ain't, you ain't uh, 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 only accounted for the said you are Israelite by your mother and your father. You are who your father is. All right? Like, uh, Judges 21 and 18. How be it? We may not give them wives of our daughters, for the children of Israel have sworn, saying, Cursed it be he that give it a wife to Benjamin. Like I told you, uh, it's because of the trespass what Benjamin did in Israel. He wrote folly in Israel. And I see why I told you reading this account, why we have so much faggots and sodomites in the tribe of Benjamin as well. Benjamin been doing shit from then, wicked and evil. But that's neither here or there. That's another topic. But like I say, the point is here is in, is, is in Numbers 21, 11, and 12. And you will see where that account came from and how the children of Benjamin were able to multiply and still be here today. Because if they had not done this, Benjamin would have been wiped out. But everything had to, Benjamin had to be here today in order to fulfill prophecy. Uh, let me see. I read on some more. Numbers 21 and 19. Then they said, Behold, there is a feast of the Lord in Shiloh yearly in a place which is on the north side of Bethel, on the east side of the highway that goeth up from Bethel to Shechem on the on Salak, from Bethel to Shechem and on the south of Lebanon. Therefore they commanded the children of Benjamin, saying, Go and lie and wait in the vineyards. This was a, 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 a feast they had in Shiloh, really now, the children of Israel unto the Lord, unto Yahweh, for Hashem Yahweh Shai. Numbers 21 and 21. And see and behold, if there, and, Salak, and see and behold, if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance, in dances, then come ye out of the vineyard, and catch you every man his wife of the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Benjamin, and it shall be when their fathers all their brethren come unto us to complain that we will say unto them, Be favorable unto them for our sakes, because we reserve not to each man his wife in war. For ye did not give unto them at this time that ye should not select that ye should be guilty. And the children of Benjamin did so and took them wives according to the number of them that danced, whom they caught, and they went and returned unto their inheritance and repaired the cities and dwelt in them. And the children of Israel departed thence at that time, every man to his tribe and to his family, and they went out from thence every man to his inheritance. 
And in those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. So we could see that, that there is an account that, uh, 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 that we had heathen women also mixed up in this. So you can't only say that we are uh, uh, just justified by having uh, 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 women of the nation of Israel. Because this here is clear in this. And we also have another account in the book of uh, that's our Numbers. Numbers 31 and 17. Now therefore, kill every male among the little ones and kill Salak. Now therefore, kill every male among the little ones and kill every woman that had known man by lying with him. But all the women and children that have not known a man by lying with them, keep alive for yourselves. Now what you do they keep these women alive for? To do whatever they feel fit. Whether they be servants, sex slaves, whatever. This was uh, an account that Moses told them. Now therefore kill every male among the little ones. Get rid of the men. And kill every woman that had known a man by lying with them. A man that, a woman that had sex with another man. But all the women and children that have not known a man by lying with him, by lying with him keep their lives for yourselves. So you see we have accounts in here whereby... We had heathen women, and it was okay to bring forth seed. The same about your mother. This is about your father. All right? That should be an account that a crush down uh, 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 some of you at a false camp. So they were talking shit. The same about the woman. It's about the man. So with that, I hope you had a fight. I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to the supreme power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the hopefully elect in the four winds. To win the wake in humility and charity. Risking your lives to do so now more than ever. To you I salute. Shalom.